Hi guys, and before we get into it, let me tell you briefly what the weekly pick is about. So, the weekly pick is basically my favorite new releases of the week, or just a recommendation of an old or new film that I think people will enjoy. This week's pick is perfect for what's coming. You know, that one day every year that people, couples, look forward to as much as anniversaries. Yeah, I'm talking about Valentine's Day. So this week's weekly pick is none other than To All The Boys I've Loved Before. Now this is the first entry in what has since become a franchise of films, which are based on books written by author Jenny Han. Yes, these books are aimed at younger readers between the ages of 12 and 18, but they very much appeal to audiences past that age bracket, especially the films, which has since become critical successes for Netflix. So these films are centered around Lara Jean, played by the charming and hilarious Lana Condor, who is a half-Korean, half-white 16-year-old girl who dreams of love and romance. She's a lover of romantic films and baking. Seriously, I love how much a character loves baked goods. I can't remember the last time I've seen a film this passionate about cupcakes and cookies. It really is a treat for the eyes and for the stomach. Okay, a bit off topic there. So let's get into the synopsis. To all the boys I've loved before is the story of Lara Jean, who has never openly admitted her crushes, but instead wrote each boy a letter about how she felt, sealed it, and hid it in a box under her bed. But one day Lara Jean discovers that somehow her secret box of letters has been mailed, causing all her crushes from her past to confront her about her letters. Her first kiss, the boy from summer camp, even her sister's ex-boyfriend Josh. As she learns to deal with her past loves face to face, Lara Jean discovers that something good may come out of all these letters after all. Lara's love interest, Peter, is played by Noah Centineo, and this dude just oozes charisma on screen, so much so that Netflix has pimped him out. Well, made him a star by having him in a number of other Netflix original films. Shout out to Lara's younger sister, Kitty, played by actress Anna Cathart. Her meddling in her sister's love life is what gets the ball rolling on this love story. She's a highlight in these films. Her relationship with Lara and their older sister Margot is a bond that's just touching to see. You really feel that they have each other's back no matter what. These films manages to be charming and heartwarming. And as much as it centers around romance, it also focuses heavily on family, loss, and just our main lead, learning to be less dependent on her family. It's a coming of age story, so we see her journey and her growth as a character, to where she eventually becomes a more mature person who is capable of making her own decisions that will shape her life and her future. The two leads really have some sizzling chemistry between them that keeps you invested in this couple, and no matter the ups and downs of their relationship, you really want to see it work. The supporting cast is great as well, while mostly there to serve the main storyline, we do touch on some of their own struggles in love. My favorite is perhaps the budding romance between Lara Jean's father and a next door neighbor. I really love this actor from his previous role in my big fat Greek wedding. So it's nice to see him here playing a lovable and supporting single dad. Honestly, I'm a sucker for romantic comedies. And this is one of the more recent ones in the last couple of years that really gets it right. They just strike a chord that resonates with my romantic comedy loving soul. So if you're a couple up or you're a singleton, definitely give this film a watch. Maybe watch the whole trilogy. Make it a binge. They really are perfect companion films for Valentine's Day. So that's all folks for this segment. Keep your eyes peeled for more in the coming weeks. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the show. Please feel free to subscribe, like and comment below. And hey... Maybe this was in your cup of tea. And that's okay. Just remember to take care and stay safe.